You know, you just can't stay mad at NVIDIA. Make a short, first they'll sell you an overpriced graphics card and then they try to burn your house down with a faulty connector, but then they release something like DLSS 3.5, which, well, I don't know what happened to DLSS's 3.2, 3.4. This brand new iteration of NVIDIA's AI Blackmagic Trickery is supposed to be a pretty major upgrade to how we experience games. However, the name is a bit, well, misleading. Yeah, I know, NVIDIA naming being misleading. What a surprise. Because the purpose of DLSS 3.5 isn't to improve performance as such, rather to improve the overall quality of the image, more specifically the quality of ray tracing. Because current ray traced games, whenever there is an area of the scene where not enough rays have hit to create a proper and clear image, they use special denoisers tuned specifically by the developer to still make that portion of the scene actually make sense. And especially in a portion of the scene where the engine has very little information to work with regarding how exactly ray tracing would interact with that specific texture or that specific object, well, the results may vary. This issue is further amplified actually by stuff like frame generation, because these denoises usually rely on previous frames to make assumptions. However, when you have several of these incorrect frames at once, well, naturally the issue only gets bigger. But as Echo from Rainbow Six Siege says, why do it yourself when robots can do it better? So DLSS 3.5 comes to the rescue to make ray trace scenes look better by just simply being much better at filling in those gaps that classic ray tracing leaves unfilled. And the best part? Unlike normal DLSS 3 with its fancy frame generation, which is only available to RTX 40 series graphics cards, Team Green are making this brand new ray reconstruction mechanism available to all RTX graphics card owners. So if you do own an RTX graphics card, lucky you! I'm still stuck here gaming on either an Intel Arc A770 or a GTX 1080 Ti. Now, NVIDIA have made it very clear that this update is mainly made to target the overall quality of the scene and not performance. However, especially in games that use a lot of ray tracing and thus a lot of these ray tracing denoisers, there can actually be an uplift in performance seeing how you're now using these much more efficient AI techniques. However, in some instances, especially where a lot of denoising wasn't being done in the first place, NVIDIA have admitted that the performance can take a small hit. Now, this technology is coming later this year, with titles like Cyberpunk, Phantom Liberty, and some other ones that literally no one cares about. Like, November can't come soon enough. Please just give me the new Cyberpunk DLC, I'm begging you. But are you excited for this technology? And are you going to be actually using it yourself? Well, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus, also, huge thanks to our existing patrons, Kevin Burns, OKB, Justin Rage, Elif Ronyak, Liv Panda, Balaj Volker, Meg Sumner, Shane Oakroft, Lance and Level Up. And if you still need an RTX graphics card yourself, then our links to some are going to be down in the video description below. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.